Hi and welcome back to Bump Love. Thank you so much for all the connections you've been making with us over all of our social media platforms. It's so heartwarming for us to find you in your inbox, in our inbox, or in our comment section, just engaging with us and talking this issue called motherhood. Today on the show, we'd like to dig in and dive in into early or late puberty. We've gotten a lot of requests for you guys asking us to talk about what happens if your child starts to grow breasts, starts to have um, a body order very early or very late in their lives. And so for this show, we'd like to ask you to exercise complete and heightened parental guidance as we have a doctor in the house, Dr. Daniel Tumwini, and we'd like him to be able to comfortably share with us all of the things that we need to know, all the science to get deep into it so we can understand every question that we have. So welcome to the show, Dr. Daniel. Thanks. We're so happy to have you. Thanks, Manuela. Thanks. So first question, mm. um, <laughs> what is puberty? Like we learned this in P4, we get that. But the truth is when we're learning, we want pressure to pass exams. And uh, then sometimes we thought, saw things happening on our very own bodies. And we're like, oh, that's what they talked about. And, you know, we spoke among it with our friends and everything. Mm -hmm. But then now it's happening to our children. And we're like, okay, now this is a whole different approach. How, what is puberty? How can we start this? <laughs> yeah, when we're explaining to our kids, what do we say? <laughs> puberty is really just the transition between childhood and, uh, and adulthood. Uh, really the biological, the emotional, uh, and maybe the body changes that someone goes through. Say adolescence is also a transition, but puberty is very, very specific. And uh, it's, really, uh, it's really triggered by hormones. Huh? And, 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 and puberty actually occurs uh, differently for boys, differently for girls, differently for Africans, differently for whites. And it also depends on, also on, on, on some genetics. So for example, if your father was a late bloomer or your mother was a, someone who, who had their menstrual cycle, early, the chances of you having it uh, would, be, would, would be high indeed. So um, we normally usually say that by definition, uh, puberty start, should really start for, for, for girls at around eight years. Eight. Yeah, and then uh, for, 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 for boys, it's usually nine. Um, but this is really just a, it's, it, it's not one of those hard and fast definitions in medicine. Why? Because even though this was a definition that was brought in in the 60s and 70s, more and more studies shows that, have shown that Africans tend to enter puberty earlier. And also the rate of entering puberty is becoming earlier as the decades go. So for example, a, year, a decade ago, um, it was normal for African girls to enter puberty at 10. That's early puberty. But now, the majority of girls enter by, by eight. So it's going, it's going behind. For example, if by 13 years, um, a girl hasn't started entering puberty, we could say there could be a problem. And by 14 years, for, for, the, for the boys. Now, puberty actually enters, goes through sequen very predictable sequen a sequence, yeah. okay? So usually for girls, you usually start with breast enlargement. And um, once breast enlargement comes, um, you tend to also have other genitalia uh, in uh, preparing the, the child or the eventual adults for, for a child to be born. Because really what we're trying to do is change an, a child to an adult of reproductive age. So very many things tend to, tend to change. Yeah, so, so th the last thing that happens is when a child enters menstruation. So usually menstruation tends to come two, two, two and a half years after the breasts are to develop. So that is really very predictable in, 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 in girls. In boys, usually the first thing that changes is the testes, and then eventually uh, the penile length, the penis length, and then eventually the deepening of the voice, and then you have facial hair. But the hormones that control uh, puberty tend to be two different types. So for example, um, you have what you call the androgens. Androgens are really, it's a very, it's a, androgens is just me. Androgens is just like android. Yeah, I also was hearing yes. android. <laughs> man. It's just man for Greek. So both men and women have androgens. So some of the androgens can include things like testosterone. But androgenization, the androgens, 
are the ones which give you guys um, so both men and female or boy and girls have of them have them so the androgens are the ones which cause say, pimples which cause pubic hair to come uh, what else we have body odor okay so androgens those ones develop different so the, that hormone develops completely different from the other sex hormones which is testosterone and estrogen so so for estrogen in girls it's what makes their breasts grow it actually what what prepares the womb even 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 in adults it was prepares the womb for for the child so if the, if there's no conception you shed that womb that the estrogen has prepared and then you end up uh, menstruating it causes your hips to curve uh, so estrogen um, and it also it also matures uh, the vagina so so that's really estrogen uh, for boys testosterone is usually what causes the testes to enlarge the penis to enlarge yeah and also gives us muscle mass mass so for so women it's usually the estrogen is usually the fat and for S, for testosterone it's usually the muscle oh, yeah like but also why? Why? i know like why now we are here exercising <laughs> because of <laughs> science happened we thought it was food who made it that's yeah well no 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 so 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 so, so that's just one aspect yeah. so that's the sec what we call the secondary sexual characteristics then the other the other the other uh, sign of of uh of puberty is usually growth so it's uh, a growth spurt yeah. yes. because estrogen and testosterone and this is this might be very important in, in diagnosing uh, issues of uh, puberty are very important in your skeleton uh, your skeleton growth mm -hmm. so remember you grow very quickly you have a growth spurt um, so once the estrogen and testosterone really come in in, in, in spurts mm -hmm. your skeleton actually grows very quickly so you find that your limbs grow faster initially than your than that than your spine or your your skeleton so initially the first kids when your first kids are growing their hands and feet tend to be larger than for example if you have to measure their what you call the axial length okay and that's usually just this testosterone and the estrogen now if you if you have that too much you find that your bone age matures grows you, your bones grow very fast and then what you call your bone plates or your the, w w when you're growing up <laughs> okay, we are, we are when you're no you. when you're growing up uh, or, or, or when you're growing tall or when you're born actually many children don't usually have more cartilage than bone and so at the end of the bones especially the long bones you actually have what you call a growth plate and that's where your growth comes from and so once you have gone through the whole growth spurt of adolescence or puberty, they close. So, so you can't grow taller. That is why me, when I eat more, instead of growing taller, my width starts becoming bigger. So that, that's because we can't grow taller. Uh, and usually, normally for us adults, we stop at around 23, 24. That's when your growth plates really stop. But if someone has too much uh, estrogen or testosterone, they grow very quickly, then, they're, they're, then their bones that their bone plate closes much earlier yeah, yeah. and what happens is and this is one of the reasons you might find that africans tend to be larger children taller children mm -hmm. but shorter adults it's mm -hmm. because we tend to enter puberty earlier mm -hmm. so we so we go for sports because we because we 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 we, we, we are bigger and more yeah. active than our, our white colleagues mm -hmm. and so we end up in sports yeah. <laughs> and then but what happens is our colleagues end up catching continue. up and they continue their growth and it's the same thing for boys and girls mm. so that is why men tend to be taller than women most times because women enter puberty earlier for us we enter it later but longer and then eventually we, we overtake the women and then and then we become taller that's, what, that's one of the reasons ah. anyway yes oh, so yeah. i don't know if um, i've answered what puberty yes, is yes. <laughs> and now with that at the onset you you mentioned that with every decade children seem to be entering puberty okay. even earlier. Please don't ask me why. <laughs> no, so what I want to ask you is mm. really, um, is there a reason for, so in general, let's start with, so you're saying they're entering earlier, but you're not, you don't seem to be putting your foot down on whether it's a good thing or a bad thing or a thing even. Yeah. So is there actually such a thing mm. as early puberty? Yeah. And if indeed it is there, mm. is there a reason for concern? Like is, okay. is there a problem? So there are two questions there. Yeah. So there are two questions. So there is generally, 
generally, uh, specifically in, in the States, in Africa, in Southern Europe, in Japan. I'm just looking at the different studies which have shown that generally puberty is occurring earlier yeah. and this is normal. Okay. Now the issue is why is it occurring? That's why I said don't okay. ask me why. <laughs> okay, please because please because why? the people think it could, some people think, you know what, some of our chicken might, yes. might be treated with hormones. Yeah. Some people think it could be what, so, so there are very many speculations, there's nothing, there's no hard and fast fact, okay, they are just theories, but the, the important, the, the, the common thing really is just because uh, we're, taking, we're taking in from our environment too much oestrogen containing, uh, containing foods, drugs, whatever, creams, your creams that you're using, then you give it to your I child, see. and when you go to the back, you find that these are types of oestrogen, and then they're also using the oh. same cream. So those are just theories, the, 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 the science is not, is not as hard and fast. Okay. The trick is, it's happening in ladies yeah. more. Yes. So, so yes. even though for the men, it's also decreasing, so decreasing as a, at a faster rate yes. than the girls. And, and for girls, entering early puberty is, is such a psychological issue compared to the boys. For the boys, it is more the delay. Because all their guys have now gotten muscle, they have gotten the hair, and he's the one who's remaining a child. So the devastation is more on the delay. Now, the other reason is, and okay, this one, this one has, has science to it, is really we are becoming bigger. So the larger you are, especially if you're a lady, the, the more obese you are. For example, these days you're seeing in here in Kampala, you're seeing kids who are being fed on fast foods. And so by the time they are three years, they are, they are actually becoming obese. And so in ladies, obesity, particularly childhood obesity, is a very good big risk factor for early, uh, early puberty. And, but for boys, funnily enough, it's a delay. And I think because fat tissue actually releases estrogen. So actually estrogen in boys, will probably suppress, suppress the testosterone. So you end up having a boy who is probably not yet into puberty. But for, for children, I'm sorry, for the ladies, the fat tissues also have estrogen. So they enter puberty much earlier. So that one is at least, that one we have the facts. Okay. Yeah. So you've talked about the early puberty. Mm. Let's, talk, let's talk about late puberty. Is it something that we should be concerned about? As parents, yes, but there's also a big thing on early puberty that I haven't con I hadn't mentioned. Okay, there are two types of early puberty. So, so this puberty I'm talking about is what we call the natural puberty. Okay, all right. Mm. Um, there is early puberty which is really due to the illness. Yeah. Okay, and usually the, the types are, uh, we have the types called uh, mm. the central puberty. What does that mean? It means that the issue is in your brain. So when, we, when we're discussing hormones, we have what we call the peripheral hormones and the central hormones. So the central okay. hormones tend to, be, uh, uh, tend to be spilled over by the brain, and then the peripheral tend to be, like the, t the testosterone and the estrogen are made in your ovaries. So estrogen is made into your ovaries, the testosterone is made into your testes. So then the others like uh, FSH, which are made in your brain. So the causes of early puberty, you can have too much. It is more common in boys. Okay. Now, 90%, uh, this is a statistic in medicine, 90% of early puberty that is central in girls has no issue. 90% of early puberty that is central in boys has an issue. So when you find a, a patient who has all these other hormones uh, made from the brain and they're all, you know, they're all being, going haywire, mm. the chances, if it's a boy, that there is actually a what? a tumor or something are actually actually higher in the, in a boy so for boys who has an early, who has early puberty we usually ask that's when we ask for mris and want yeah. to look for okay. for cancers for girls we don't usually yeah. okay because usually it's just early puberty but however one thing i forgot to mention is that you can actually enter puberty or signs of puberty which are isolated. Remember we talked about puberty where it is saying the brain calm, sorry, the breasts calm, yeah. the yeah. facial hair calms, yeah. the sweating calms. So it's all, it's all in a predictable way. Yeah. Sometimes you can have puberty where the child only menstruates, nothing else, no breasts. Yeah. Or sometimes you can have breasts with no menstruation, yeah. with no puberty. Usually that's, usually that's a sign that that cause is not central. Mm. It is either in the testis, in the okay. ovaries, Okay, and it goes all the mm. way, um, and, and usually, usually it's tumors in the, in the what? 
in, 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 the, in the ovaries. And sometimes you have this, uh, bad development of what you call adrenal glands. Now, yeah. adrenal glands tend to make uh, androgens. Androgen. And we, we talked about androgens as hormones. And sometimes when you have a child who is a girl and they have abnormality in the adrenal glands, they can actually have boy features. Mm. They can actually have features of, of, a, of a man. For example, when you see some of these guys running around in the Olympics, mm. the Casta Semenyas and the Maria Mutolas, mm. okay, and some of these boxers you see were female, WWE yeah. wrestlers, yeah, yeah. okay, many of them, if they have started as, as children, if, they, if they're not taking any hormones and it's natural, it's usually an issue with their adrenal glands. And the adrenal gland is usually found above the kidneys in the body. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, delayed puberty. Yeah. <laughs> ah, delayed puberty is really the opposite of uh, early puberty. And I've said that uh, by the time a, child, a girl is 13, at least we should have expected 90% or 98% of all children by the time they reach 13 to have started developing the first sign of puberty, which is breast enlargement. Yeah. So any child who hasn't had breast enlargement by 13, we usually say they have delayed puberty. Or if after two years of starting breast enlargement, they haven't yet had menstruation, then that's also delayed puberty. Mm -hmm. so, so puberty can actually start and stop Okay. without it being completed or puberty cannot com be completed. So the commonest cause of puberty in our, uh, delayed puberty in our, in our setting here is poor nutrition and chronic infection. Okay. okay, so for example, a child with sickle cell, that's a chronic infection, a child with HIV, a child with anything that is chronic that brings the child into chronic, say diabetes, for example, okay. they tend to have delayed uh, onset of puberty. Then the second commonest really one, the second commonest cause really is just poor nutrition. Yeah, because nutrition is very important for, yeah. for, for making sure that the hormones are, being, uh, are coming in there and that they are triggering puberty. Yeah. So we did pose this question to our audience and actually even before we did, we had, you know, moms reaching out to us and saying, oh, my six-year-old, I'm smelling. She goes out to play and she comes back and she's smelling. Um, seems like the body odor is coming on. Another one was saying the breasts have come early, you know, around seven, eight. Another one was saying menstruation has come early. Um, another one said, you know, she's seeing signs of pubic hair on her six year old. Eh, these mm. things are alarming. <laughs> but I guess the bigger question from what our audience is asking is can early puberty be slowed down medically? Yes, it can, depending on the cause. On the so, cause. so that's why it's very important to differentiate central causes yeah. of early puberty where all the hormones starting from the brain mm -hmm. come and affect uh, testosterone and estrogen mm -hmm. or is it just isolated mm -hmm. to the gonads what we call the gonads the gonads are the ovaries and the testes mm -hmm. so that is why it's important to find out what is actually the cause of that puberty is it that they have actually is it really early puberty or is it that you're having too much estrogen therefore your breasts are in larging so for example if you just have to, if you just have your breasts enlarging well, yes, even even when your breasts are enlarging there are stages yeah. of the breasts enlarging mm. so sometimes you want to know is it just enlarging because uh, of the estrogen mm. or is it because of the whole puberty process mm. um, so the issue yes you can you can stop it by mm. giving other hormones oh. um, there's a home there's a mm. central hormone called the gonadotrophic releasing hormone. That one is just a fancy term <laughs> for, <laughs> for doctors to say the hormone that releases the hormone that releases estrogen. That's basically what it is. Eh? Okay. Wow. Now the problem with that is that there are other hormones which are stopped or, or even you end up having effects of estrogen or, or lack of estrogen or effects of lack of testosterone. So you have to weigh and measure. Um, do you really, really want to stop it? Because the majority, as I said, for 90% of children, and particularly girls, there's really nothing wrong. They've just delayed. Sorry, they've just started early. early. Yeah, and it's the same thing with delay. That's what they call constitutional delay. Um, half the time, you ask your parents, uh, when did you start menstruating? Your mother would tell you, man, for us in our family, we start menstruating at 19. <laughs> okay, but once the puberty starts, it goes through the same, the, yes. the good process. Okay. Yeah. So, so yes, there is, and also in uh, in uh, delayed puberty, um, you can give the children. Ch it's possible to actually speed up puberty, but I wouldn't also advise it because half the time you don't need to. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and some of the medications might have a lot of other side effects. Wow. Yeah. If you asked me, if you told me, no, it's normal, let it go, I would ask you as a parent, I would tell you that, you know what, I'm not, I don't know how to explain puberty to a six-year-old because for everything that my child goes through, when my child starts to walk, I say, and they know, oh, they, I'm being excited, I can walk because at that age, it's okay. When my child starts to talk, I can, we can explain all these things. When my child learns colors, starts to add one plus one, it is the right age, the brain has, at least the cognitive abilities have developed enough for me to my child to understand what she or he is going through. At six years old, I cannot have this conversation. I don't know how to do it. At 10, yes, we can. We are reaching a different ballgame. So if you ask, if, if I came to you as a parent and I explained to you that, you know what, I need to have a conversation with my child. How do I explain menstruation and breasts and, and body odor to a six, seven, eight, maybe an eight is a problem. Like, okay, eight, we can maybe try. So I would, I would tell you, this is my reason for it. So can we delay it? Would there be anything, any side effects? Because I would not want to talk to a six-year-old about pubic hair. <laughs> not happening, <laughs> not having that conversation. <laughs> One of, uh, one, of, one of the indications for starting medication is uh, if, you, if you have very severe delay. And one of the complications of delayed puberty is short stature, is your child becoming short. So one of the things that we, we ask to do is we, we calculate what we call the mid-parental height. So we get your height, we get your father's, your husband's height, or the father, child's father's height. And then we get what we call the mid-parental height. And then we find out the growth potential of your child. Then we also do an X-ray of the left wrist. Don't ask me why the right. It's because we know how the left wrist grows. So we look at the bones. And then we compare. And then we say, you know what? While your child's age is six, your child's bones are showing the child's age is seven. And, and the, the, the further away it is from, from your child's real age, the more likely that the growth plates are going to close and the more likely your child is going to have short stature. So usually one of, one of the indicators is to prevent short stature. But the majority of the time, your child actually, it's not that, it's, it's not that far off. Yes. Okay? So the complications or the potential issues. And by the way, I think in Uganda, even those hormones are actually quite expensive, expensive. even in the US. And as I said, they'll have so many other issues. Um, for example, some children who have uh, early puberty might also be having, say, thyroid issues, mm -hmm. or they could have uh, they, they, they could have diabetes, because the because insulin is a hormone. So the pathway which makes the growth hormone and the pathway which makes insulin are almost the same pathway which makes some of these hormones. Mm -hmm. So they have to have other issues. And so giving 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 those in children, yes, it is possible. Uh, however, usually we tend to want to give them to just to prevent like other serious consequences of the and the, and the majority of children will not have those. Yeah. So it might be an issue of explaining to your children. I'm glad you've said and I'm sure I'm sure you can explain better than than me. <laughs> you've, you've 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 said it explaining to that child. Mm. Let's say you've explained. My mm. daughter is five years, and I'm just imagining she's turning six, mm. and I'm telling her some story as to how she's becoming an adult. I don't even still can wrap my head around it. So I've told her and now it's happening. Mm. How do I support her? Because in her class, she's probably the only one with breasts. Yeah. First of all, you're she's, right. you uh, know, she's the only one, you know, but she poo poo. It's not gonna happen. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's very difficult. Oh. <laughs> you're but right. How do you support mm. a child? So, so as I said, so there are, there are two types of issues okay so there's the girl who has entered early puberty who is going to have serious issues psychological issues so psycho you know yes so and then you have the boy who is the last guy to develop yeah. and those are and I've seen so many boys so for the girls um, I, I think oh maybe before we start the issue is that many girls they tend to be not only do they tend to be bullied because she looks older than her age, you, she might be at risk for sexual abuse, yeah. okay? Because then all the, she attracts unwanted attention from, from guys, and yet her cognitive development yeah. is lagging yeah. the physical development. So I think that is something that parents need to be really, really aware of. Um, and also it's been shown that actually children who enter early puberty tend to be 
tend to enter risk behavior earlier than, uh, okay, they tend to have a larger percentage of risk behavior, either sexual risk behavior or deviant risk behavior as adolescents. So we, we as parents need to be aware of that. Wow. Um, I mean, you can see some, like a lot of shock these days <laughs> with our dear darling Pumla. And the truth of the matter is, if this is something that you can't take and yet you're possibly going through it and you're the kind of mother like Pumla who wouldn't go to a counselor but would prefer to get a glass of wine, uh, the Serena Mongolian Tanqueray branch is here for you every first Sunday of the month at only 110,000 shillings, you get unlimited supply of cocktails. But if indeed this is not something that, you know, you need help with and you need someone to talk to, slide into our DM. Uh, Dr. Tumwine will be available to answer some questions. But even more importantly, one of the things that he has said is see a doctor. Uh, a talk show where we talk about this can only do so much. You have no idea what's happening with your child. So until next time, with love from Bumpland.